Hello everybody, welcome back to the Cupcake Gemma channel with me Sally and we've got Sam as usual on the camera working his movie magic um, and thank you for joining us again this week for another recipe video and I'm pretty excited about this one because we're going to go way back to basics and we're going to be baking some shortbread and um, kind of my main reason that I wanted to do this recipe with you guys is that even if you're like the most pro baker, I think this is a really great recipe to kind of revert back to when you just need to remember all those reasons why you fell in love with baking in the first place. Because I think, and I'm definitely talking about myself as well <laughs> when I talk about this, sometimes I think that we get so, so caught up with trying to create the most beautiful, biggest, elaborate cake or like a dessert with 50 different things going on in it that we get too caught up in that and we forget to enjoy the process. So this is one of those recipes that I think is brilliant to just pull ourselves back to that reason why we found baking and why we fell in love with it in the first place. Because you don't need many ingredients, you don't need much equipment, you don't need much time, you just need just to kind of enjoy it. So we're gonna do some mindful baking. We're gonna make some mindful shortbread. <laughs> so don't worry, I'm not gonna make you all sit cross-legged and meditate for 10 minutes before we start though recommend it. If you'd like to do it, then I do think give it a go. <laughs> um, maybe you'll find some kind of peace from that before you begin, but let's get started. Um, so you're going to need some kind of large bowl for this, and we're going to start with some butter. So in this bowl here, I've got 150 grams of butter. Now I'm using unsalted butter, but if you've only got salted butter, then that's absolutely fine. The one thing you want to do is make sure that it's kind of soft. And so take it out of the fridge for an hour or so, just to soften it, or you can put it in the microwave a little blast at a time. You can see here that it's really soft and spreadable. So we're going to pop that into our large bowl and we're going to add to it some sugar. So I've just got 60 grams of caster sugar here which we'll sprinkle on top. There we go. And now we're just gonna mix it together with a spoon. We don't need an electric mixer or a whisk or anything like this. We're just gonna use a spoon. So just bring it all together. So we're not sort of creaming together these two ingredients. We're just simply mixing to combine them. And then we're gonna add in a few more things. So we've got some flour here. So I've got 230 grams of plain flour, which is all purpose flour. And we're just gonna chuck all of this in. And now, because I used unsalted butter, I am gonna be putting some salt into this because I think that it really kind of helps sort of pull out all the buttery, vanilla-y flavors. So I'm gonna go for about half a teaspoon in there and also a bit of vanilla. So I'm putting some vanilla extract in, but if you don't have vanilla extract, you can you know, leave it out, that's totally fine. So again, about quarter teaspoon. And again, we're just using our spoon, you can use a wooden spoon or a spatula, just to bring all of this together. And it does kind of look a little bit dry and like it's not coming together, but just do it nice and slowly. Like don't try, again, we're not trying to get any sort of particular consistency or whip it or cream it or anything, we're just stirring. Okay, so once it's looking like this, so kind of sort of bread crummy, very kind of dry looking, a bit lumpy, it is now time to get rid of your spoon. And we're gonna go even simpler, and we're gonna use our hands. So we're just gonna put our hands in and gently start to bring this shortbread dough together. We're really just kind of getting in there and feeling all these ingredients, and it feels good, and you're making a mess and I love it, it's brilliant. And once it's looking a little bit more dough-like, so it's all starting to pull together like this, it's less kind of floury um, and dry, it is time to add some chocolate chips, should you wish to. You do not have to do that at all, you can just leave it plain like this, um, but you know me, I love a chocolate chip and I've always got chocolate about two meters away from me at all times. This is the stage we're gonna add it. So I've got some milk chocolate chips here which I've chopped up and you can do this really easily with a chocolate bar as well. Just chop it up nice and small and I'm just gonna add, well, probably quite a small handful. <laughs> this is more chocolate chips than there was butter. And now we're gonna, again, use our hands to bring it all together and now we're gonna squeeze. We're gonna really start to squeeze this into a dough and then tip it onto your work surface. Here we go. 
and just bring this all together. We don't want to kind of overwork it too much at this stage because we do want to try and keep it short, hence the shortbread uh, name. And short just means kind of crumbly. We're not overworking gluten. So flour has gluten in it and if you overwork, overwork, that's what makes things kind of chewy, uh, can be a little bit rubbery. And we want this to be short and melt in the mouth buttery. So there we go. I've got my ball of shortbread here and we're going to roll this out. So you are going to need a rolling pin for this um, or you can use something like a wine bottle. I know Dane used to use a wine bottle because he didn't have a rolling pin, which is bizarre, I know, but don't worry. Um, you can do that or I've even used like um, some tin foil, which sounds crazy, but it's in a, it's in a tube like this, right? And you can sort of get it there. But also with this shortbread, you can just push it down with your hands if you don't have any of those things. Like, don't worry and we're still going to be able to make delicious shortbread. So the first thing I'm going to do is grab some more plain flour and give my surface a light dusting. We don't want to put too much down because then your cookies become too floury. A little sprinkling on top and a little sprinkling on the rolling pin. And now because this is shortbread, it will be quite different to when you've made things like pastry or other cookies. It's going to be quite, it's going to want to crumble and crack basically, but just persevere. We're just going to do a little bit at a time. There we go and we'll give it a little move every now and again so that it doesn't stick to the surface. And look, it is cracking, but don't worry, we can just use our hands to bring it back together. And we're gonna keep on rolling until we get it to about half a centimeter thickness. And this is what I mean by kind of being mindful and just using these really simple recipes because we don't have anything else to think about. We don't have to think about like, oh, we've got to make the icing and we've got to make the goo to go in the cupcakes or anything like that. We can just pay full attention to what we're doing. And if you're kind of rolling out and you realize that your mind's thinking about something else, you can just say, right, come back, come back to this rolling and just enjoy this moment. So my dough is ready. It is about half a centimetre, I said 30 centimetres, half a centimetre thick. So now we're going to cut this out. I'm going to do round cookies. So if you have got some cookie cutters, you can do whatever kind of shape you want to. If you don't have any cookie cutters at all, just grab a knife and cut some fingers or cut some shapes by hand, do whatever you need to do. I'm going to make mine circular though. So I'm going to grab my cookie cutter, um, put it in a little bit of flour just so it doesn't stick. And we're just going to chomp these out. And when it's cut out, because this is shortbread, remember, it's going to be very delicate. So you might want to grab a pallet knife or a butter knife or something just to help to pick it up and put it onto our baking tray. And once you've cut all your dough out, you can bring the rest of it together, roll it out again, or you can just bake the little off cuts. You can have a nibble at those. <laughs> so let's just keep cutting these cookies out. Okay, so I think I can squeeze a few more of these onto my baking tray here, but if you've only got one baking tray and you've run out of space, then you can keep your dough just wrapped up in some cling film. We can bake the first lot and then once they're out, then you can get rolling again. It's a very forgiving kind of dough, this. So I think that'll do me. 
Now I've got a non-stick baking tray here, which is very handy, <laughs> but if you haven't, you might want to put a little bit of parchment paper onto your baking tray. And then we're going to go straight into the oven. We don't need to chill these, but you can kind of, if you've got extra, you can roll that out and you can keep them in the fridge. That's completely fine. Like I said, it's a lovely forgiving kind of dough. Now my oven is preheated to 170 degrees C, which is fan assisted. If you don't have a fan, then check out the description box below. Along with the recipe, you've got your kind of oven conversion as well in there and I'm gonna pop these in for around 10 to 12 minutes and this isn't one of those things that if you open the oven door it's gonna fail if you open it early so pop them in for 10 minutes have a little check what we're looking for is an ever so slightly golden topping they're not gonna go super golden like our other kind of cookie recipes do um, just a light kind of gold on top because we want to keep them a little bit soft inside so I think I'm gonna check them at 10 and then go from there so let's go So there we go, we've got chock chip shortbread cookies and they don't take very long to cool down, the perfect amount of time to whack the kettle on, make yourself a nice cup of tea or a cup of coffee because that's perfect for your shortbread. So let's actually just break one of these inside, shall we? Oh, look at that, it just wants to crumble. Can you see that texture? Really short and crumbly and I guarantee it's gonna melt in my mouth. Mm. It's so, so soft, crispy, buttery, really smooth, nice little bit of sweetness in there as well. And remember, with things like this, if it's a little bit too sweet for you, just reduce the sugar next time. It's one of those recipes that you can play around with the kind of sweetness or you can up the salt a little bit more as well. Well, I really hope you enjoy this and I hope that if you bake it, you are able to find some moments of relaxation in it as well. And if you like this idea of kind of mindful baking, then please let me know in the comments box below because I'd love to bake some more kind of mindful recipes with you guys. Things that really remind us of why we fell in love with baking in the first place. Um, and of course, if you're not into that and you're just here for the recipes, we've got you covered. Do not worry. We've got heaps of incredible recipes on this channel and Dane is going to be back next week. He's been on holiday can you believe it how dare he um, no I'm kidding he's a busy boy and he's had some rest and he's gonna be back with a double decker brownie recipe for you guys next week um, but in the meantime enjoy this recipe once you bake them sit down with your tea your coffee your biscuits your cookies whatever you want to call them and just enjoy the moment we'll see you very soon